and ladies. I just thought I would take this opportunity while I am um, filling out, sending invoices and pulling stuff from my live sale last night to show you how I um, invoice and um, how the responses come through on my checkout form if you're going to be using a Google Doc, which it sounds like a lot of you are. So right now I'm in my drive, so this is my Google Drive. And once you create a Google Doc, so this is my checkout form here, um, once you create it, the responses will save and automatically import into a spreadsheet. So it, uh, um, it updates on this response. Um, so I have it pulled up here and it actually, so even if I have it open, you'll see a new response just came through at the bottom here and they come through white. Um, but you see that I've already highlighted yellow and green. So basically when I pulled up, I actually started invoicing last night. So as soon as I got off of the live sale and Charlotte went home and we had our glass of wine, I pulled up this spreadsheet and these were all white. And then I just started at the top. So Sheila was the first, it um, comes in the orders of the comes in the order that it was received. So Sheila was the first to fill out her checkout form. And I just started going down the list. So um, I pulled the 306 medium navy and pink Cassie. I put it in a bin. I went to my LuLaRoe. I created a new sale. And I think I showed you this on the in the last um, video that I made. So it says it was a medium navy and pink Cassie. So what I do is I double check the tag on that Cassie because sometimes people will put the wrong size or the wrong description or the wrong style. Sometimes they'll put Cassie and it's actually an Azure or something like that. So I, I always make sure to check the item. Then I go into my LuLaRoe and I um, do a medium Cassie and I send her an invoice. So I would press checkout. I'm not going to do that though. So I would send her the invoice and then I would go back, so again, this would have been white, and I would have highlighted the cell yellow. Yellow is, I sent the invoice. Now, this morning, I went back through, and now I'm starting to see a payments coming in. So Sheila has paid, and I, um, when people pay, I highlight it green. So um, I actually use this easy peasy spreadsheet. You can use whatever spreadsheet you want. I'll post a link to this one. Um, it's very detailed and organized, which I love, but it's definitely excessive. It keeps track of your inventory. You don't you don't really have to go into too much detail. Um, but anyway, so I input also their their data into this spreadsheet here. And as I mentioned, I highlight it green. So then what I would do, so I have um, a section of my room with bins that are pulled that with invoices that I've sent. So I put all of the, the items in bins with notes. So I would put this navy and pink Cassie with a little post-it or a piece of paper that says Sheila 306 medium Cassie. And then once she's paid, I move that bin to a different section of my room for so I know that it's okay to ship. So I kind of keep them the paid and sent invoices or items separate in my room. So then I just keep going down the list. So as you can see, I've already sent out um, all of these invoices. And um, as they come in, um, I'll go to paid invoices here. So you can see the date. Um, this is 8-6, so this was the first payment that come, came through this morning. So I would click on it, and I just go through the list in order, and then I go through back to my responses and highlight them in green. Um, this person, Shana, she um, claimed something on the replay, but it was it's sold or it's no longer available. So I have it highlighted hers because I actually sent her a courtesy email letting her know it's no longer available. So I just leave that white. But I like to I don't like to delete the response because um, what I do is I keep all of the responses saved for each sale. So I have a folder. Um, this was my launch response form. So I just copy and paste the responses onto a new spreadsheet. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a crazy launch. So, um, and then I save it. So you can see out of my launch, I had one, only two people fill out checkout forms. I invoiced them and they never paid. So not bad, out of 58 people, only two people didn't pay. But that helps me know also if there's like repeat offenders, people who are claiming a lot of items but never pay. But it just helps me reference or if someone, um, I don't know, I, I have their email saved and yada yada. So that um, this is my folder for, again, where I keep all of the, um, the data. Now this is my last Facebook Live sale. This is the one I did um, 
before the um, before my water broke, <laughs> where we went through all of my inventory. The blue cell, so I just want to show you um, an example. So green again, those are paid and shipped. Blue, I highlight them blue if people send submit a checkout form as backup. So this person, they claimed TC Black Raspberry leggings. Now someone had already claimed those on the live feed, but she would, wanted to submit a form in case that person didn't pay. So if someone is sold next, or if it's a live sale, two people claim it, but the first person doesn't end up paying, I could then refer back to this person who filled out a checkout form. But um, this per the person ahead of her actually did pay, but I highlight it blue just knowing that person is a backup for that item. Orange means that person passed on the item, so they filled out a checkout form, but then they ended up uh, just letting me know that they didn't want it anymore, passed. So again, I don't like to delete anything. Um, so yeah, two people were backup. Yellow, so one person didn't, or all the yellow are, are invoices that were sent and not paid. So again, not bad. Um, so yeah, guys, so this is the current sale. And that's kind of how the responses come in on the spreadsheet and how I go through and organize them. You'll definitely, um, you may find that something else works better for you, but that's just what I do. And for those of you who shopped last night, thank you guys. And it's always so nice having y'all on the, the broadcast, seeing my, my girls show up there. So anyway, I um, hope you guys are having a good weekend and I will talk to you very soon, I'm sure. Bye.